Taking new products to the market faster can sometimes be the difference between success and failure. Do you want to know how you can accelerate developing embedded and IoT products using Renesas Advanced Microcontroller Kits? Hello and welcome. I am Ashish Ahuja at Renesas Electronics. As IoT and embedded products are becoming more secure and connected, the application software running on these products has become increasingly sophisticated, requiring more development and more debugging effort. The advanced debugging capabilities available on the Renesas Advanced Microcontroller Kits provide you the flexibility and convenience to quickly, easily, and inexpensively debug the code. The Renesas Advanced Microcontroller Kit lineup features three debugging modes, debug on board, debug out, and debug in. Using these three modes, you can not only debug the RA microcontroller on your evaluation kit, but also on your custom PCB. These kits support various debugging interfaces such as serial wire debug, JTAG, and embedded trace macro cell, and have standard 10 and 20 pin connectors that most external debuggers can be attached to. Let's talk about each of these modes one by one. The first mode, debug on board, as the name suggests, allows for debugging the target RA microcontrollers on the kit. The debug microcontroller is connected to the target microcontroller over serial wire debug interface. The debugging firmware is Sager's J-Link and it is running on the Renesa Synergy S124 device. PC applications such as the Renesas Flash Programmer, eSquare Studio, or J-Link communicate with the target RA microcontroller via the debug microcontroller. The kits are configured to operate in this mode by default, and only serial wire debug interface is supported in this mode. The second mode is debug in. It is used to debug the target microcontroller on the kits using commonly available standalone external debugging tools. The external debugging tools can be connected directly to the target RA device via 10 pin or 20 pin connectors. The debug microcontroller is bypassed altogether in this mode. Serial wire debug, JTAG, and embedded trace macro cell interfaces are supported in this mode. This mode is particularly useful for applications in which complex debugging might be necessary in order to capture the real time debug trace data or to perform boundary scan on the target device. Let's talk about the third and the last debug mode that is, debug out. It is used to debug the RA target microcontroller on your custom board using the debug microcontroller on the Renesas RA microcontroller kits. Doing so essentially eliminates the need for a standalone debugging tool, saving expenses for you. The debugging firmware is Sager's J-Link and it is running on the Renesas S124 device. Only serial wire interface is supported in this mode and it is enough for typical applications. The debug modes can be configured using the debug selection jumpers on the kit. The jumper settings are documented in the kit's user manual. The debug modes are implemented consistently across various RA microcontroller kits, so that once you learn how to debug the code using one RA kit, you can reapply that knowledge to debug the code using another RA kit. These debugging modes, when used with the eSquare Studio IDE, flexible software package, and Renesas Flash Programmer help speed up product development, saving you time and cost. So in this video, we briefly talked about the three debugging modes available on the Renesas Advanced Microcontroller Kits that allow for quicker and more convenient debugging, enabling you to take your IoT and embedded products to market faster. We hope that you enjoy innovating with these kits as much as we have enjoyed developing them. Get your favorite kit today and bring your big ideas to life.